I have here a very interesting object. This is a bimetal, bimetallic strip. You can see that this side is copper and this side is aluminium. Okay. So it is basically two different metals stuck together really well. Okay. So think of it that way. So this is aluminium and this is copper. Now aluminium has more coefficient of linear expansion compared to copper. So if I heat this object, what is going to happen? Aluminium, well, both of them are conductors, so they'll have the same temperature, right? Whether you heat from the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. So aluminium, because it has more coefficient of linear expansion, it will expand a little more than copper. Copper will also expand, but aluminium will expand more. But they are stuck together. So how can the top expand more than the bottom? Ah, it has to bend. So when you heat this bimetallic strip, it is going to bend. Right now, notice that it is straight. Right? So to compare, I have here this wooden piece. You can see that these two are both straight and horizontal. Right? You can see that very nicely. They are straight and horizontal. But I am now going to heat this up and you can see how this is going to curve. Okay? Let me hold this with this cutting player. I okay? will leave it here. And uh, I am going to use this butane burner. So let me get this started. It's going to burn quite a lot. Now I'm going to hold this. I'm going to hold this tight. I'm going to heat this up now. It is right now horizontal. Watch. I'm going to heat this up. And as soon as I heat, you can see that it is bending. Watch. It's bending. Very, very hot. Very hot. Can you see it bending? Beautifully bends. The top part is aluminium. It is expanding. You can see that it is expanding more than the copper part. And so you can see this very beautifully bending. As soon as I stop heating, it will go back. But right now, you can see that it is bending very well. Okay, let me switch this off. Okay, and compare this with the wooden piece. You can see how much it has bent. Enormous amount of bending. Enormous amount of bending, right? But you can see already that it is slowly coming back. Okay, so as I heat it, it bends because the top part, the aluminium part, is expanding more than the copper part because the coefficient of expansion for aluminium is more than that for the copper. You can see how much it has bent. You can see that even now. But the bending is slowly coming down. So if I wait for long enough and it cools, okay, I'm not going to do that. But if I wait long enough, it is going to come back, okay. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have some comments or if you have doubts in physics or math, please write it in the comment section. I will take one of your questions and make my next video. See you all in the next video soon.